Good afternoon, YouTube subscribers, community first. Good afternoon. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have not, please do. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. I'm going to keep coming. This is necessary. I am going to keep coming. This is necessary. I'm a motivator in the community. This is this is necessary. This is some people are just like that. This is this is I practice. I self educate in terms of political science, social science, and communications. We are to be encouraged, and we have to be aware of what's going on in our democracy. Just as serious as we go to church. This is serious, you know. And we have to talk about something. Even back in the Bible days, we had Caesar's laws, and we know that's the government. We even Jesus and 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 all the disciples and stuff had to go by certain laws. The land is uh, a Christian value. It's a value of respect, a value of people, and the integrity of organized people. And we has we have not paid attention to that. Almost like it's a celebrity gossip. It's not a being in politics is not celebrity gossip. It's not. It's the reality of how you live and what's what you're allowed to do in terms of success, what you're allowed to do in terms of the law and, and, and how you're protected is political umbrella. This is everything we do. So if you're going to church and you're a Christian person, I would say pay attention to politics just as much as you pay attention to church. But you can't necessarily mix it because it's different avenues. But you can definitely pay attention to it. If you're in college and you have an expertise you're studying for a major, pay also attention to politics. Most college people do. Some don't. If you're into celebrity gossip, stop buffooning and let people use you for, your, for their ratings and pay attention to how you exist in the society and that's through politics. Black people, let's do politics. Other groups already do politics. They understand politics because they know that they can value from that or that they can be devalued from that. We just kind of allow things to be. Now, we have paid attention to politics and throughout leaders and stuff in our history. However, we kind of got a, we had a bubble where there has been a big gap. And we start looking at celebrities and black celebrities and all the all the degenerates that were made by wealth in our country, the rappers and celebrity gossip and so forth. And a lot of these people that are in Hollywood are Democrats. And we all know that the Democrat has so much power. They don't care about giving you to reciprocate any loyalty. They just have a word for you. They speak highly politician language and tell you they're going to do something and they don't do it. They are a very big party and they have been um, signed by a lot of backing by a lot of people. So whatever the agenda is in terms of being a Democrat, that's what they promote. It's a business. And the United States itself is a corporation. Everything connects. So the, the, the politician game is a business. And we have to understand that you know, once you get big, people jump on. All the actors, all the money goes there. So this is why they're able to censor us on social media. And they run the fourth branch of government, the media. So we're facing something when we're dealing with them. And even the Republicans, and a lot of know the Republicans have been a predominant white party for a long time. Because they're thinking in conservative mindset due to protecting their country and uh, protecting our country or protecting their assets. And we saw it as a threat to us and not being able to be fully free in terms of the law. So a lot of black people voted Democrat. But now we started to understand that the Republican nature, a lot of it, not all, some of them are considered to be people who practice racism, of course, unfortunately. Um, we just got people like that throughout the diaspora, throughout what happened and how they anchored. However, we have to understand that a lot of the nature of Republican has been to protect their home. The Democrat people are socialists. They want to tell you something, but yet they have too much power. So they can do anything they want to do is what they feel. And that's why they're losing their constituents and losing their followers and their people. A lot of people they're losing, they have treated the voters like peons. They're not working in your favor. And you can know you know how powerful they are, the way they're fighting against the president Trump's agenda because he's a, a Republican and in the Republicans and stuff, and a lot of times what what he's done, you know, 
he's came against a lot of things that hurt people's pockets that are businessmen and the agenda. But it was to clean up what's been going on. Now, I'm not sure about the racist side. I know that he have made some comments that made me kind of question that. However, it's not about him being my friend or anything. It's about him governing and basically being transparent as, as, as much as possible. And a lot of things that were hidden were hidden throughout government policy. And for some odd reason, the President Donald Trump started speaking in, in spaces which were exposing which we haven't been discussing. And one of them things were illegal immigration and so forth. And so... And also, the President Trump did sign a, uh, made an executive order to sign a $100 billion um, grant to go inside the urban communities. Not to mention that it's not specifically for the descendants of slaves, but it is for the community that has been undeveloped and been denied disenfranchised places. So that's a step. Now, we don't really know what local politicians is going to do in terms of that. We don't know how they're going to exchange. But as we unpack and go forth, we will learn how to deal with government. That's why I, I say do politics. I'm just trying to explain some of the matter. I know I might not get any likes because some people that follow me are Democrats and they feel that I'm going to go against the Democrats or going against them. But this is not going against you. This is transparent when I'm speaking. The Democrat Party has been responsible for not being honest in terms of government. They have been responsible to serve they have been responsible and, and, and competent as well to sign off on whatever they think is an agenda to the powers that be over them. And a lot of people that are in power are not fair. And they have been lawbreakers and people who make executive orders unconstitutional. And this is against us and we feel it now. So I, I, I encourage you to understand that the position... To, uh, the way we're positioned uh, as people, we need to understand no matter who you are, do pay attention to politics. Don't just, if you play video games, okay, well, then you need to stop playing the video game and look at politics too. And then go back to playing them. This is what we have to do. A lot of us, we, you know, we do our homework in a lot of spaces. You need to do your homework in a space where you are basically exchanging. And you're exchanging under umbrella politically. And don't even realize it. It's a power of what you can do and what you can't do, how you're protected, how you live, what's going on, who's able to do what. And so this is not a separatism speech that I'm making. This is a speech where we have to be where we have to learn to be a little bit more strategic about who we are and what we deal with and what we pay into. We pay into our government system and our society by our tax dollars. We pay into it, our ancestors paid into it with blood sacrifice who are anchored in the country in the history of it through child slavery. Other groups have paid into it on a different level. Now, we are being manipulated in our society, and we have to pay close attention. And I want to mention that there are a lot of people that understand that it hasn't been worth it to be the, the those who who have been the problem of this country going in a downward spiral. Have they? A lot of them know now that it's not worth paying illegals um, low wages and stuff. A lot of them kind of understand, not all, not even probably not even 50% of them, but some of them are saying, dang, this is against the integrity of our nation. Now that we see it's hitting all groups, it's not just hitting us as blacks, it's hitting the white man too. They're not talking about it, but it's hitting them. That's why they made it an agenda to correct. Now, it's been hitting us. We just never knew it. We, we really didn't care about it because we were people that were oppressed from the very beginning in terms of how we exist in the country. But now when it started hitting them and their enclaves and their bedrock and their business and the white people that were middle class and poor, then it became public knowledge that it was wrong. And I understand that because that's the nature of people. We about our group. We want to do what we do for our group. And that's the nature of people. However, what, what they have not realized, the powers that be are responsible for the integrity of our nation because they have it. Say, for instance, if I have a, a party and I invite people and I'm the only one and I'm the chaperone, I have all the food and 
I have the money. I have the resources for everybody to enjoy themselves. But there's a group that I don't give anything to. But they're at the party. They're there at the party. But I give every other group something. I'm responsible to host this event. I'm responsible to host this event with all fairness and integrity. So everybody should be able to participate. As long as they follow the rules. And everybody should be able to be applied on an equal playing field. As much as possible. This is a gathering. We're here together. This is our country. We're here together. That has not happened. Necessarily. We force things into play. But this is what big business is doing. They're doing what they want to do. And once they start doing something. See big business is able to get laws in effect. These people money is power. They push agendas. They can put money in people's pockets. They can sign off on stuff. And so they're able to be in touch with federal judges. This is who they barbecue with. This is who they drink beer with. This is who they look at there and say, hey, your kid's doing fine. This is who. So they're in constituency. But what is happening is blowing up in their faces. Because now the integrity of our country is at in question due to laws being broken. See, the only reason we are able to be a civilized nation for the most part is because we have the rule of law. And these sectors, which I'm speaking, the rule of law have not been upheld and applied. They have not been in terms of people being treated right. I don't think even if they give us what they what they what we're supposed to get in terms of reparation, we will still not be able to have the money that white America has. So why would they not want us to have it? And then if we do, we could exchange it by houses and take care of ourselves better and open programs where some of us can be aided due to what happened and in the, in the insertion of drugs, and just try to get help for the people that were lost, that were responsible for building this nation and their ancestors. That's what we should do. That's what the United States government should do. So, and then not only that, you got people running around here that are breaking laws that don't belong here, and that are using things that don't belong to them. And so they're able to basically find a loophole to save their money, send it to other countries and get money here. And a lot of them get paid under the tables because they are running their own businesses now. This is how much greed the rich man has done by allowing them here. Big business wanted them here. Coretta Scott King wrote that in the forgotten letter in 1991. Big business wanted illegal immigration in our country to pay them cheaper wages and it was also a strategic move, neatly and methodically arranged to, to remove black employment also. A lot of people don't know that back in the times. And they were replacing black folks in employment and then putting them there. And then we started going up the prison pipeline due to the insertion of crack cocaine in the community. So it's all said and done now. But now we rectify we come to terms with how to deal with this. We come to terms with it. And the first thing is to become unity, become a unit. And then we push and we aim and we open transparent government. And there's a lot of people that are proud that this is going on. Of course, there's a lot of people opposed, but they're also proud because they know this for the integrity. And they didn't expect black folks to be against illegal immigration. They thought we were stupid. They think we're dumb. We're just running around, you know, hey, old Sambo, hey, they go to the SAs over there, hey, you know, kind of thing. But we are so, also prestigious also. We don't have a chance to expound on it because of the fear tactics that were used against us in our society. So we kind of just shield back. And now some of us are working for um, corporate America and stuff like that, and we are lawyers and stuff. But as being a black person, and the Democrats have not been a good example in terms of being black. For whatever reason, whether they're puppets or whether they're just plain old ignorant or they don't care because they have a seat in, gov in government. So they haven't been a good example on being black. Those who are moving the needle on everybody else, they haven't been a good example but they are a good example for white liberals because they're followers. You know, they're puppets for them. So this is the example that they show. But to us, 
in terms of the whole, they look like airheads to us. I mean, they're going out the way like they're from robots or Matrix or something to help these people. And not even reckoning with us in our community. We don't deserve to die. Black folks don't deserve to just die because they got strung out on drugs, a lot of them. And they don't have teeth in their head and they stand on the corner begging. They can be reformed. And those who haven't been involved in that are are living in those conditions because they're black and they're poor and they don't have a chance. And they're going to college, you know, and doing things like that. Because of where we come from, we don't have our wealth. You know, like our anchor of wealth. We don't have an empire. We don't have no power sector in this country at all. And when Martin Luther King Jr.'s regime, um, he talked about it, but he got assassinated. So we just got to look at who we are. And it's unfortunate a lot of times who we are, but then again, it's not. Because I believe in divine existence. So I'm going to go from where we're at and then push on. But we need to pay attention. And stop voting for somebody because you see another black person do it. We like to get on the coon. We like to get on the bandwagon. We don't understand. Well, this is a new bandwagon. Jump on the bandwagon and do politics. Look hard because Joe Biden ain't nothing but trouble. You better not vote him in. He's a benign and neglect. He was the one who promoted mass incarceration. And invest got businessmen to invest their money in the prison system. So that they can house people, not just blacks, but mostly black people who can't fight their cases. They don't have a lawyer. They don't have attorneys. They don't have the power to fight these cases in court that are nonviolent cases. And they're sitting in jail. Then they go in jail. They get in trouble in jail because jail is not safe. And they end up staying more or getting killed in jail. And what we got to understand, just because our government aimed to be. For oh, this is everybody does not mean that the um the recipients are gonna exchange like that, like the police officers and anybody. All these people um that are practicing bad behaviors, or whether it's racism or anything like that, are people that have been have learned these unfortunate attributes, undesirable attributes. And it's actually pulling us back. Not just us as a country. And we have to move forward. There's bad people on all sides. We know people, but we can deal with that. We we don't have to put everybody in one group. But we have to zero in and we have to look and we have to look closely. And we intend to rectify. And I'd be dang on if y'all going to keep on pushing immigration in my face when I walk out the door. I'm starting to dream about Hispanics. I be doggone. So we're going to have to move forward, guys. And if the Catholic Church want to do something and they want to help people so bad because it's such a Christian value, why don't you help your own people? Why don't you help the people that you enslaved? Your ancestors were slave traders. Help the people that you did that to first before you go out. If you want to have a Christian moral, that's what you should do. Nobody's asking for anything, but a Christian value. Have a program for the descendants of slavery. That would be a Christian value. Your ancestors got behind us and whooped us and made us work for free. You say you're a Christian. Have some Christian value for that. I understand you protecting your ministers out there who are pedophiles because they're yours. Okay, I don't have a lot to say about that. Because they are your people. But if you want to do something for the community, you continue to do that. That's fine. But be careful stepping over your bounds, helping people that are going against the people you already hurt. Then you don't let your good become your bad. And that's what they don't realize. And that's what the integrity is. And that's why it's blowing up in their faces. If you want to have a bleeding heart... Have a bleeding heart for the people that were harmed by your fathers and mothers as slave traders. If you want to have a bleeding heart, help those that are in need in your situation that are constituents with you. We are forced into constituency because we all built this nation and we did it. Ancestors blood sacrifice. And we built this nation and we built it and we built it together. And now 
we are offended that you have moved the needle in terms of billions of dollars for other groups and for a specific group to come here and reign and walk around poor and be built up all in our faces. And then they sell drugs and they have gangs and everything else. But by your power and what you offer them, you're able to cover their activities. Do that for the slave descendants, the people you have harmed and affected, if you have such a Christian value.